appreciate that, Congressman. Thank you so much for coming on. Um, talk to me about this, kind of give you the floor here and, and what you make of this hearing, the line of questions from Republicans, from Democrats on uh, the committee, the answers from Durham, your thoughts. Uh, I thought the answers from Durham were good. I think that the Democrats um, truly are just obsessed with Trump, Trump, Trump. And this is so much more than that. They don't seem to grasp it or get it or they don't want to. This is about the misuse of federal power. This is about the fact that the Department of Justice, the FBI, there needs to be some restructuring. Now, there's good, lots of good people, agents and others, that work in the FBI. But the way that it has been positioned of late and the direction it has taken is one that really has corrupted it, um, has made it uh, just, you know, in, in, in essence, a much less functional uh, entity because it just isn't, they're not telling the truth. And you, you expect the FBI to be telling the truth. Instead, literally, there are parts that, you know, that came out in the Durham report where literally, again, the FBI showed corruption, showed weaponization, showed being political. And all of that is something you cannot accept. The FBI is supposed to protect the people. Right now, the people need protection from the FBI. And that's what's coming out. We need to restructure it. We need to change it. Um, we need to really look into FISA reports when we start digging into pe people's personal business. All of this was misused. All of it has come out. The FBI was even paying off an agent that works for multiple countries, Igor Dachenko, giving him money, American money, American taxpayers' money. It's unbelievable. That's, and we can't allow this to exist. Yeah, and you know, you know well, uh, sir, that that echoes the sentiment among House Republicans that we're hearing in, from in this committee here, uh, the idea that this should never have taken place. Now, once the Durham report was released, the FBI came forward saying, yeah, we, we made some changes in an effort to never let this happen again. Have you seen those changes? Are you confident in elections going forward that something like this would not happen again? No. Uh, the changes are people, some people at the top were moved, some people retired. Um, there were some, you know, superficial changes that have occurred. We've really got to look how we go about Pfizer reports. Before you start, you know, using that power as an excuse to dig in to Americans' personal lives and what should be private very often, unless it really is of necessity. Uh, so that has to be looked into, the structure of the FBI itself, um, has to be looked into. To make just some minor fluffy changes at the top is not going to cure something that is so sick. All right. We'll have to leave it right there. Congressman Jeff Van Drew of New Jersey taking the time joining us this morning with his analysis. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. My pleasure. All right. Take care. We continue to follow, again, the House Judiciary Committee's hearing on the report of